Welcome back to Manage the Wild. I'm your host, Nick Madsen. I got a call from campus, uh, a school that is, has an aggressive turkey on campus, and the turkey is chasing people, <laughs> kind of like the one that I have back there. It's not as big. That one's kind of got a small beard, too. But this one's even smaller than that one. Uh, this aggressive turkey is getting students every time they're coming out of the building. It'll come up and start pecking at them. It'll flap and whack them and chase them, and people are terrified. So um, we are currently dealing with situations all over where we have nuisance turkeys causing problems everywhere. Um, and we're not talking like 10 or 12 in some of these areas. We're talking five, six, seven hundred 700 birds, uh, 150 birds, 90 birds. We have birds, turkeys everywhere. So the state of Utah started transplanting turkeys back in the 30s, the 40s, and it's taken a long time. They finally got this really good mix where they mixed some uh, Rios and some Miriams together, and they got, I guess, a good combination. And now these turkeys are exploding across northern Utah, uh, southern Idaho area, and they've got them to stick. So we are faced with problems. So this school has called me for a few weeks uh, trying to get me to show up because they're having issues with this turkey. And it's hard to show up to this school that has one turkey when somebody has five, six, seven hundred turkeys or a city has seven hundred turkeys within its urban environment that is causing havoc. So I finally got a little time and I go up to campus. I find the turkey. It's just wandering down the road. Students are throwing snowballs at it and people are taking selfies with it. And I... the officer there asked me to deal with it and I told them I'd bring a trap but I watched this bird and it goes right into this corner to where it couldn't see me coming up on it and so I waited I look left there was no students coming I look right there was no students but there is tall office buildings everywhere I look so I think to myself I think I can get this sucker so I run to my truck grab a fish net and I sneak around the corner, and it can't see me. And right as I get to the corner of where I know the turkey is, I take off running, I get this net, and right as I go sw swoop it down, the turkey shoots straight up in the air. Its response time is, turkeys are just unbelievable. Everybody thinks they're stupid, but turkeys are unbelievable. Its response time and how quick it fled and shot straight up in the air it was so impressive. I brought that net, net down. I didn't go in the net. I caught it kind of on the side and pinned it up against the wall. So we slid down the window and I've got it pressed up against the window. I've got the net in one hand and I'm pressing the bird and I'm trying to figure out a way to get it. And it's looking at me. It's just got that eye and it's just staring at you. And I'm looking for a leg. I don't really want to grab its head because uh, you could break their necks. Uh, all of a sudden, it just pops this wing out, and I knew I had it right then. I let go of the net, grabbed the attempt to grab the wing. This sucker happens so fast. He tucks his wing back under, sticks his head under his body, and he shoots out behind my arm. And I just dive, and I'm a big dude, so I and short, so I dive as hard as I possibly could and as fast as I possibly could. I get his tail feathers, and boom. He runs away, and all I've got is just a handful of turkey feathers as he is running down the road looking at me. And then I look, and there was students down there, a security guard over there, and they're all laughing at me. I had to call my boss and tell my boss that I most likely got recorded, and it may pop up on social media. <sighs> so that is the turkey saga that I am dealing with. Uh, no, I'm going to have to get some help. Uh, we do have a handheld net gun that I'm going to have to try try out and see if we can net gun this turkey. But the turkey did turkey jujitsu on me because as immediately as I went to grab that wing, it just ducked under me and was gone. It was pretty impressive. They're super smart, super fast. The other thing I noticed is it knew that I was after it after that because I tried to chase it down a little. But I've, all the students were going, and the turkey ran right through the middle of the students, didn't even care. There was a girl with a pack packet, almost ran right into her, and just almost between her legs, and it stopped and stared at her, and then it just kept on going. 
But then when it saw me, it wouldn't let me get within 50, 60 feet of it. It was just constantly on the move after that. Turkey jujitsu. Never thought that that would be a thing, but it is. All right, you guys. Have a great day.